Hey, I'm Kev Kev, Mr. Cork, back to MotoGP ATV Mayo. Finally got back on the winning trail and grabbed back the championship lead. Can he continue the good form round the Trim Win Motegi in Japan? So here goes Mayo then for the first of three possible qualifying efforts. As he tries to beat Olivia, is 150.6. Let's just go through the start finish line. You're meeting into the first two corners as he runs a bit wide. Did he get it down the second? That's maybe why. Unfortunately, he's got riders coming out of the pits as well. So this might not actually be his first effort. As Brad Binder's down behind. One front. As he go for another double A pits corner. Well, not a little straight. And the trim wing's not been the kindest, I say, to McDonald in the past. So interesting to see how he does here. Fresh off that fantastic battle in Thailand with his teammate. There's Oldendahl's down on his NTS. Unfortunately, set quite regularly in qualifying. And those two, as I said, apparently fighting for the Premier Ducati seat in MotoGP next season. If Mayo wins the Moto 2 title, no doubt. he be put alongside you know, Petrucci there. And there's rumours of quite a few teams interested in the services of Mayo. After this turnaround this season, especially at the beginning of the year. But apparently he's 1.1 seconds up. No doubt Paul will be in the 49s, I reckon. He controls the side beautifully into that right hander downhill. So easy to outbreak yourself. So easy to miss the apex as well here for the final chicane. It's a little wide. And yeah, he's not 1.1 up. He's 1.1 down. Or 1.3 down. As he's in ninth for the moment, but I know he can improve on that that time. He needs to be. Maybe where Olivier is now to be in the top 10. No doubt he'll be aiming for that. As he outbreaks himself. So easy to do in these corners. But apparently he's still six cents up. So first set is definitely McDonaldson. And again, it might be the third sector that's his, and then the we'll see during this second sector. Definitely not his. Seven tenths down. As you go through this left to right, such a tricky sequence that is, leading into the hairpin. No doubt we see some attempted moves here in the race. He's a bit slow getting on the power as well for this back straight. That's the problem with this circuit. You're trying to pinch these braking zones so much. But then it doesn't matter if you don't get a good exit out of the corners. As Mark is at the top now. 49-4. There's a Mark VDS bike. And you're trail breaking quite a lot into almost every corner as well. But that's better in the final sequence. This could be a 50 as Binder's now at the top. 51 flat. He's down in 20 first. Shocking qualifying for Mario. Doesn't want what he wants in Aragon to be battling through the field to claw a top 10. There's now Verges at the top. Hello, Dynavolt. We're 49 2, just faster than Binder. Very close between the pairs. McDonald attempt down that first sector. And now he's battling for the rest of the lap now. We know that. Especially in this set that loses so much time. It's just a hairpin in that corner. How does he lose? Actually, only three tenths on this occasion, but... So there they are, lost over a second.
Because this is much smoother, this, that. In his apexes, better on the power as well. Once again, just taking a couple of that to get into the groove as he's eight tenths down. So around a 150 won't be too bad. As we're in the final sector. That was sloppy. That's cost him a couple of tenths. Not the best section. It's been just taken back pole with 49.2. Well, Mario does a 50.4. He's got to have one more lap at this because he's 1.2 seconds down, but 27th on the grid. How close is it between these Moto2 bikes here? Normally wouldn't expect that around such a long lap as well. And now he's gaining on the rider in front, which is good news. That's not good news, though. He's two tenths down, so he's lost a tenth in the first sector. That's nice and smooth on the power on the exit. Bit wide for the right, though. But he's gained a couple of tenths in that sector. Who knows, half a second could mean he's still out of the top 10. How close the field seems to be. It's all a bit wide on the exit. Too much curb there. And he's almost a second back. Oh, horrible qualifying. Once again. This all goes a bit wide. Right hand, at least he's not as sloppy this time, though. Let's the final chicane on the power early. This is an improvement. Just, but it's still 27th. As Binder on pole head of Virgo and Sharotta. What did the Dynavolt boys have for breakfast? With Olivier leading the second row of Mir and Bagnaya, Baldazari, Marcus, and, and Agata. On the third row, great job from the veteran Swiss rider ahead of Pacini, Navarro, and Cortuaro. Then we've got Lowe's, Ika, and Barbara on the fifth row. Locatelli, Gardner, and Marini on the sixth. Vinales Ardendal rounds out the top 20 head of Corsi and they are second back. A second covers the top 20, top 8 rows it looks like. Top 20, 20 of the 24th. Unbelievable. Has we've got Corsi, Fanati, and then Roberts and Nakashima on the 8th row. Kent Powley, there is Mayo. In 27 for a 50.4, 1.2 seconds back. Unbelievable how close the field is. Ganado, Ben Snyder, and Fuginini in 30th. The Manzi, Kurdin, and Danilo just 1.5 seconds back in last. Will it be as close in the race? Could be a free four at the front. As Mario revs up at the start, then you can't even see the front of the field. He's waiting for the lights to go out as we get underway in Japan. He's got a decent start. He's ready to hold off Fugalini behind. He was looking to make a move. No, make a move into the first couple of corners. Up into 24, so a decent start. That's all. Riders getting slow in front. No, just diving in as well. Who was that in front? Sam Lowe's going down. And behind, Simone Corsi down. Tomorrow up to 18th, up to 19th as Odendal makes the move. Now you're back down the inside again. Not quite on the South African. Around the outside, maybe through the right as Virgo Lee's ahead of Alex Marcus. 
So a very good start for Mario then. Sanadol wants a fight though. Really wants to fight. As but now up to second now ahead of Urgate. Navarro into the top ten at Aika. So he gets pushed wide. Gets boxed in as well. By Nakashima the home hero. Someone a bit slow in front. Did someone have an issue? Samoa diving very late. Even into the gravel. Looking to get past. Odendal, not able to make it work though. So he's up to 80. He's on the edge of the points. So it's not too bad as Livio and Sip is very good. He's had a bag Naya. Baldazari, Binder and Marquez. Now the hard work from in order to get into the points. So riders wide in front. This one all gets past Locatelli, that's one place. I don't know, going for the points. As what is Locatelli doing on the grass? There's Remy Garner down behind. Not diving down the inside of the Italian. Trice. Still not able to make the move. Finally makes it stick through the left hand and just hanging the Italian out to dry. I was not very impressed with his move on the grass. And now he's not going to be impressed as Ocatelli punts him wide. Thanks to Joe Roberts, it looks like. As you can see a point in front, he's he just wants to catch up to the guys in front, not be battling for 17th. This goes towards the final chicane. You can see them in front. Now as he cleared the mad, Mad Riders behind has it's a second off the pace on that. That Fergie still leads. Livia still outside the top five in sixth. That's Pasini back with Shirota for seventh. But Alex Marcus back with Brad Binder over fourth. Once again, Riders going wide in front. Oh, one down. So another place made up, and it's one mare he went down. So Fanati in the final points for decision, just half a second up the road. Smedod almost taken out by Roberts. What the American have for breakfast? As his teammate battling with Fanati over 14th. Who we're trying to catch up to. I'm not sure Roberts has that in mind though. Bit short sighted from the American behind. You can't catch up if we're doing alternate lines and battling. So it looks like you've got some breathing room down this back straight. It's only does six tenths of a second in front. Lord breaking very deep into the right hander. So I say trying to get some move done on the exit. It's going to the final chicane. As Baldassari now he's had a bag Naya. Bind of uh, Gay Oliviera. Someone a bit wide through the first two right handers. Locate has a little look. There's me ahead of Manzi now for 28. Now they're really having a ding dong battle. So 
but all really does gain in this first sector. And just when he get, wants to get smooth on the power, of course, the back end wants to slide away. As we approach halfway mark of this frustrating race. Looks like Mador finally cleared the riders behind as a little nut down the inside of Odendal. Can't make it stick on the NTS rider. Maybe through the left. Brakes, takes the tight line. And he's into the point as Virgo battles with Olivier for fourth. Sonno tries to fight Babamayo, holds the inside line. And now half a second behind for Nati. Let's see how many points he can gain in the second half of this race. The tyres aren't looking that good on the front. He's right behind Fanati. Oh, he's got some beautiful sit stream for the start finish straight. It's Ballas, I lead head of Bagnaya, Binder, Olivia, Verge. Marcus in sit. McDonald in 14th, I think. Oh, he tries to get on the power again, and the rear just gets away. But he holds it on the outside. He's into 14th. Now he's got his teammate battling in front for 12. As Fenati battling back immediately. And he's got Marini battling with Barbara, who seems to have made a mistake, though. So I don't want to get into his slipstream for 13. Tries to dive it down the inside. He does, follows his teammate past the veteran Spaniard rider. So McDonald up to 13th, he's marching towards the top 10. Which isn't that far out in front. Looks like Agatha holds it at the moment. But he's definitely found his rhythm in this race now. Just as said, it almost crashes there, getting on the power. Oh, and out breaks himself by country. Mal. He's going to have to drive off the corner. Or is he? Look at Fanati trying to get... Oh, he's trying to push Mayo into the grass. No, not having it at all. Managed to hold on to 13th. And now all over his teammate for trail fares. Balasai leads head of Bagnai and Binder. Then there's a bit of a gap to Virgo, Livia, Marcus, Bassini, Agata, Schwarter and Navarro actually holding 10th. As you can see in front. So Mario trying to make moves on his teammate on his upon ultimate that. Get at least another position. He's very close. Pushing his teammate through that corner. Gets a nice smooth exit onto the next row. Is he closer to make a dive maybe into the hairpin? No, if it was someone else maybe, but not on his teammate. Try and set it up. With a right hander maybe. It's very good into the left. Let's say he wouldn't dive on his teammate, he does that. But now he is definitely close enough to make the move into the next left. Now it breaks himself. Looks like 12th is his ceiling as well. There's a bit of a gap in front for that top 10. And he doesn't get a smooth exit for this back straight when he's two tenths behind. He needs a slipstream. All over the back of Marini. It's head to Bob but battling with Odendal for the final point.
But he's got to run on the start finish straight here. Go on to the final lap here. In Japan, 50.8 for Mario. As he dies down the inside, Marini, not quite. Tries to hold it through the next corner. He's right in the toe of his teammate, though. Alongside. Breaking for the left. It's gone wide. Marini just sails back by. So the last race it was Pecco, and now it's Luca that. Now he's having an inter team war with. But over just 12. Instead of the win. Oh, beautiful one through the right hander. Has he finally made it stick? It's on the grass. Luca back by again. Tried to dive into the left, not quite. But he's right in the slit stream of Marini. Tries to dive through the right. Not quite, but now he's got to run onto the back straight. Bernati just four tenths behind. We've got to watch out for him, maybe. And into the right hander. Mario ahead off Marini and block passes him. Just blocks him into the next corner. That's out of the final corner. Bowder's eye wins head of Bagnaya Binder. Oliveira in fourth and Mayo down in twelfth. It was all lost in qualifying. That was a good race. That was a decent battle with Luca. As well, no, maybe he should have let Mario through to maybe challenge for a top 10. As Balasai wins by almost a second out of bag, Nio, with a second consecutive second place finish for him. He, he must be itching for a win next time out in Australia. With Binder setting the fastest lap in for there, his teammate Oliviera. As far as KTM didn't swap the riders. With Verge in fifth, Marquez, Sharotta, Piscini, Agato a great ninth. Backing up his qualifying. Navarro in the top 10 out of Ica. There's Mario. Fast at 49.7. When did he produce that? Maybe he did have the race pace. Maybe that was an extreme slip stream, though, as well. As Marini in 13th. In the end, losing that by four tenths to his teammate. Just ahead of Fanati by a tenth. And Oladell gets a deserved point for NTS ahead of Barber by four tenths. Mir, after his early crash down in 17th. As Nakashima in 20th. Those in 25th. Corsair in 24th. Gardner in 32nd. Fulugini at the back. So Olivia takes the championship lead by a single point again. Average, this is deja vu. I was only just having a couple of races ago. With Baldassari closing in, though, 11 points back. The Portuguese rider. Marcus, 42 points behind. He might be out of it. But he's got a bat on his hands with Bagnaya, 4-4. Four, four, just four points separate them. Then Binder in no man's land ahead of Verge. He's level on points with Sharotta now. Then Pacini, Amir in 10th. Looking further down, Agatha up to 16th ahead of Locatelli. Fanati up to 21st ahead of Vinales. There's 23 riders now score points. This season with Fugalini at the back. So, Madod did not achieve what he needed to in qualifying. Couldn't achieve what he could in the race thereafter. He's up to level 92 for breaks management. Level 91 for throttle management and rhyme position. Level 93 for the angle and barely any development points earned. As on the home turf, Honda win the Constructors' Championship. Well done to them. And Mark Marcus wins the MotoGP Championship as well. What a day for Honda has. In Moto3, it was Bezeki ahead of Martin and Bashini. So Mayo with his worst finish of the season. Not the way you want to head into the final three rounds of the season, but he's still just a single point behind Oliveira, and he's heading to Philip Island where he normally does well. Can he grab another victory around that fast and furious Australian circuit next time? So, for watching, we'll find out then.